Hello, I am Kai Hua Rue, an engineer of Azure Spring Apps. Today I am going to show you how to use gRPC in Azure Spring Apps. This demo is based on Spring Pet Clinic microservices, which is composed of many microservices. Among them, I will modify customer service to be gRPC service, and show you how to call a gRPC service using gRPC curl from the developer's environment. First let us take a look at the original pet clinic service. Here is a deployed pet clinic instance, and we can visit the API Gateway app for the home page. Here is the all owners page, and we can choose one customer to see pets and visits. For customer service, to facilitate testing, I will assign a public endpoint temporarily. The public endpoint will be used in the gRPC curl command as the hostname. Here we can get the list of all owners by adding a slash owners to the URL path. Before we change it into a gRPC server, let us look at the current response. We can see all owners in the response as shown on the page. Now, let us change customer service to use gRPC. To change customer service into gRPC, first modify its POM file. We need to delete the dependency for Spring Boot Starter Web. Otherwise, this application will start both a web server and a gRPC server, and Azure Spring Apps will rewrite the server port to 1025, which will prevent gRPC from being routed correctly with a static server address. Then we need to add the following dependencies and build plugins for gRPC. Next, we need to add the related proto file to define message types and RPC methods and run MVN package to auto-generate gRPC service files. We can see that a customer service gRPC is generated by the gRPC proto plugin. After the files are generated, we can implement the gRPC service with the RPC methods defined in the proto file. Use annotation at gRPC service and extend the auto-generated gRPC service base class and implement all the methods. Then we need to configure the server port to 1025 so that the ingress rule can work correctly. Now, we can run the command mvn package to build the gRPC server jar. We have finished the modification for customer service and it is now a gRPC service. Use the newly built jar to deploy the app to Azure Spring Apps with CLI commands. This may take a few minutes. Now, the app has been redeployed, let's try to call a gRPC service from outside the Azure Spring App service instance. Let's take a look at the endpoint of customer service with the path e slash owners in the URL again. And it fails as expected. Because it is now a gRPC service, we cannot visit it with the HTTP protocol. Instead, we can use gRPC curl to test the gRPC server from the developer's environment. First go to the ingress settings tab on the portal and set the backend protocol to gRPC. We can use gRPC curl list to list the gRPC services. Note that 443 is the only port supported for gRPC calls from outside Azure Spring Apps. If you are curious, the traffic will be automatically routed to port 1025 on the backend as we configured before. Then we can check all the owners with the command a gRPC curl find all. And check the owner ID by gRPC curl find owner with a D to add request data content. This is all the demo for gRPC on Azure Spring Apps. We also support WebSocket, RSocket based on WebSocket, Ingress Timeout and Session Affinity to make your options more flexible, try it now.